everybody, Mark McCray here, and today I wanted to show a quick little tutorial on how to make a tripart curve brush in Maya for use in ZBrush, so that you can make things like, for example, belts. Um, you could use it for rope, basically anything where you want there to be ends that cap whatever the curve brush is doing. Um, hair is another great one for making strands of hair. Um, that's actually a very common use that I use them for. Belts, of course, is another one. And I felt belts was a very easy way to show this off. So the main thing is that you're using three pieces that you've modeled out. They are three separate objects. And of course, for the belt, you've got your buckle, your center with your holes in it, and then your, your tip. So the curve brush in ZBrush, once we pull this in, is going to keep one instance of this and one instance of this. And this middle piece will be what it duplicates over and over, knowing that the ends are basically your caps. So for example, rope, if you wanted to have nice, you know, either frayed edges, frayed ends on it or capped ends are good examples. Um, you can make multiple different belts, of course. Um, I can't, uh, hair, if you want to have, you know, different types of curls or ends on your hair strands. I can't think of all the different ways. There's so many different ways. Chains. Think of all the different curve brushes you could do. Um, so the important things here are that you have three pieces and that all three are modular. They need to have topology that runs through. So what I would typically suggest is model it as one piece and then split it into three uh, using the, your multi-cut and extract tools. So I put this together. This is actually taken from another project and I, and I just all modified it, cut it up for use here. But that is the base object in Maya. Once you get whatever it is you want created, and then you export that. And then we're going to take that into ZBrush and do what the real work is. Okay. So here we are in ZBrush. We've got all three pieces. Let's turn on our poly line fill. And if we click on each, you can see that they do currently have all different poly groups. You, that is very important. Double check that if they do not have different poly group colors, you want to make sure that they do. And then just grab and merge them down into one tool with that poly group. Then you're going to open up your brush menu with B, hit create insert mesh, create a new one. And then you'll see you've got your brush there. And then we're going to go to stroke curve, turn on curve mode. And I like to use lock start and lock end. You don't have to use these, uh, but I, I do like them. Um, snap is def another one that you don't have to use, but especially for belts, because they're usually going to be attached to something. I would definitely suggest it. Um, but these are settings that are up to you. And then also, what we want to do is go into modifiers, make sure triparts is turned on because that's what tells it that we want to duplicate this middle piece and cap off the ends. And then also super important is weld points and stretch, and then a little bit of curve resolution. Before we actually do that, I'm going to actually show the reason why. Uh, let's just make this into a polymesh 3D. So if I draw this out with our current settings, you'll see we've got, it's all broken apart. It's not welding anything. So this tells it that we want it to have all one mesh. So it's going to weld the vertices together. It's going to, turning on stretch allows it to stretch the mesh a little bit so that it can get those parts. And then your curve resolution 
just allows for it to have a you know much smoother topology for drastic curves. Oh, let's. So yeah, obviously you don't want that, um, but that is making a tripart curve brush. Nice and simple. Hope this is helpful. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, any comments for anything that you want to see. And have a great day, everybody.